Minnesota will receive. Quentin Redding uh -oh. will take it off of the turf and head upfield past the 20 and is thrown to the ground at the 22. Ibrahim is the running back behind him. That's the key to Spencer. Yeah, Seth Benson already in there, Tim. We're going to see a lot of him today. Gain of two on play number one, so second down and eight. Kaliak Manis, that pass is caught by Spanford, as we mentioned. And right on cue, he has the catch. Here's the bench mark down right here. Second in the nation and third down defense. The Hawkeyes, how do they hold up here? Third down and one. And Ibrahim has the first down on what looks like a rugby play. We'll have a few of those today. Kaliak Manis with the quick pitch to Potts. Very resourceful run there as he gets out ahead for four yards after contact by Seth Benson. Two, John Wagner there to help clean up number 92, the senior out of Des Moines, Iowa. Second and six, Potts again on a stretch play. Can't go side to side against Iowa. They're just too fast. Third down and five. Ibrahim back in the game. Kaliak Manis is making a change at the line of scrimmage. Saw the nice, coverage. Nice call. Yep. Nothing doing, though, as Evans stunts that running play. Fourth down and three. They will punt it away, but it will force Iowa probably back inside their 20-yard line for their first series. But that's a quality call to get in that play because they ran to the weakness. If you can describe a weakness for this Hawkeye defense, they ran right where they needed to. Low punt. Wind will affect it. Does get a quality roll for Minnesota and will be downed at the 21 yard line. Here goes Sam Laporta. Hello, how do you do? All the way down to the 22. Spencer Petrus gets 57 yards on the first play from scrimmage. They mark it at the 21. Now they roll him out. Pressure from the Gophers in the direction of Caleb Johnson. It goes incomplete. Uh-oh, uh -oh. ball's on the ground. Third down, 16. Go with a little tight end screen, and why not? Laporta gets them back to the original line of scrimmage at the 21. 38-yard field goal opportunity here, Tim. With the wind at his back. Drew Stevens. 13 of 15 on the year, and it's right through the uprights. Again, keeps it low, and it's Redding. He'll be just shy of the 30 at the 29-yard line, and that's where the Golden Gophers will take over. Spanford in motion comes into the slot, and he'll lead Ibrahim. And Muhammad gets out to the 31-yard line. We'll give him two, second down and eight. Nice. Span for it again. Well, he's had a couple of catches now. Kaliak Manis, the quarterback, was the Illinois Gatorade Player of the Year as a senior. Ibrahim is back there with him. And here he goes. It's going to be very close. I don't know. I think they're going to mark him about a half yard shy of the first down. Well, they decided to use the timeout, and in so doing, thought better of it, and they punted away to DeJean, Cooper DeJean, and he stopped at the 35-yard line. Speaking of, he runs right into a lot of Minnesota's forward wall. And that's Lachey, one of the tight ends that's flanked out to the bottom of your screen. And they throw it underneath right there on cue. He's got it. There's Brian, who's certainly been feeling the heat this year in Iowa City. Second down and six. Nothing doing for Caleb Johnson this time. The freshman from Hamilton, Ohio. Hometown, by the way, of one Jake Jolivet. Third down and six. Nice. Quick slant. That's a dark to Laporta. Are they He's hurt, too. I think he came up. Uh, he's holding his elbow, but he's up and around. Uh, he's okay, and he made the catch, which you'd expect 
Every time the ball comes his way, he's going to gobble it up. Just be mindful where they put this guy is, right? He's tight end technically. They put him out there to what would be an X or Z position, like a wide receiver. They'll run him all over the field. They'll, he'll run him on out corners, shake routes. I mean, he's all intent and purposes, Tim. He's a wide receiver. I mean, the kid is, they, there's no restriction on his game. Well, last week, five catches for 48. His sixth game of the season with five or more catches. Nice Williams. heavy running. That's LaShawn Williams, the third back that they'll utilize. On second and five. Williams. There you see the conversion comparison. And just nothing doing for Caleb Johnson this time. They're going to go on fourth down. They're three out of nine on the season on fourth down tries. Good play action here. Yeah, and he's in trouble. Nice job. But it's wide open to Laporta. And he's got it inside the 15-yard line. Petrus did a nice job of staying alive with pressure that was coming. And there goes Caleb Johnson. He's inside the five, was stretching for the pylon. He, unless his knee was down, he did hit that cone. But I, from our angle, you don't see that whether or not his knee was down. It was very it close. Was very close. He was uh, headed out of bounds. They're going to mark it at the one-yard line. First and goal. Petrus tries to do it on his own. No signal yet. That's a scrum right there. Yes, now. it is. They go I formation. Caleb Johnson dots it. Petrus, yep. he's in there. Mm -hmm. Touchdown, Hawkeyes. Third rushing touchdown for Spencer Petrus this year. And no mystery here, just great push up front with that offensive line that averages about 312 pounds across the line. And Tim, you just get the push right there. Usually, as a rule, defensive players are going to be more athletic, but they're going to be smaller. And the math tends to work in your favor, and that's in the wheelhouse of the Hawkeyes. Excellent job. Well, you can see Sori Marin, who's an outstanding middle linebacker, pushed about two mm -hmm. yards into the end zone on that initial drive from the center, Logan Jones, which enabled Petrus to make his way in. That's a 12-play, 66-yard drive, 619 off the clock. The big blow, of course, coming on the pass to Laporta. And, and credit Petrus there for keeping that play alive as he dealt with two linebackers in his face. Hope most of you got a chance to see that win TCU got earlier today. Our friends Jason Benetti and Brock Heward had a wild one. one. Incredible comeback win. As you see the run from Quentin Redding on the return out to the 28. <laughs> Abraham takes it ahead for three yards. We're coming to the end of the first quarter here. The Floyd of Rosedale is at stake. Kali <laughs> Akmanis this time decided to keep it. And I'll he runs you. right into Seth Benson. <laughs> He's and something else. The, the, the amazing thing over and over again is how much you see yeah, Iowa get some plays for losses. Gingerly. And he got hammered yeah, that time. He's getting up gingerly, too. Yes, he yeah. is. Third down and nine. There's a seam route. Bingo. It is caught up at the 39 by Lamecki Brockington. You see they're warming up Boy, now. They're going to have to take him out definitely. They yep. have to take him out if he. That yeah, last hit underneath. on the play before. Mm -hmm. And now they're going to check. I'm wondering, though, if they're checking for targeting, and I don't know that. You can do that a play late. No, I don't think you can. Well, uh, Tim, ooh, that, that was definitely, you can check it. Yeah, but he put his head down, too, offensively. Kelly Akmanis did. That, as you mentioned, was classic form on the part of the defender, Seth Benson. I don't think they're going to call that. They're not going to because, you know, they've already run a play. But mm -hmm. they did get Kelly Akmanis out. Cole Kramer, they are not reviewing it. They're simply taking him out. The official saw something and felt like, you know what, we need to get him out of there. Smart call. Yes, it indeed. 
Ibrahim stopped at the 45. Kramer remains in for this play. And he keeps it. Stopped at the 47-yard line. Kaliak Manis has come back onto the field. Third down and five. Nice. Beautiful pass thrown to Jackson. Daniel Jackson who's become the go-to receiver. They lost Altman Bell, and he is ringing his own right here. First down from the 24. Little bootleg action caught by Brockington. Brockington slips a tackle. He's inside the 15 to the 12. First and 10 from the 12. Ibrahim is back in there out of the shotgun for Kelly Akmanis. This is a twins look. They're going to, yep, that's a great call right there to get out of that one because they couldn't defend that. It's first down and 10 from the 12 yard line. Kelly Akmanis out to Ibrahim, and there he goes. Good tackle that time, sure handed at the five yard line. Hawkeyes get the stop, and it's Jack Campbell who very rarely, if ever, misses out on a tackle. Ibrahim, look nice. out! Touchdown, Minnesota! Matthew Trickett has been 39 of 39 in PATs. May get 40 in a row. As far as the Big Ten West is concerned, many, many answers coming this weekend as to what might happen in Indianapolis in a couple of weeks. Williams remains the setback. Nice. That's Arlen Bruce the fourth. They've got more depth at tight end than they do in a lot of places offensively. Petrus, and he goes on the quick slant to Brody Brecht, redshirt freshman from Ankeny, Iowa. Rashawn Williams, not much, maybe a yard. Petrus, well, look out, the tight end, right? Right on. Q, it's Lachey, number 85. Looked a lot like Laporta on that play, Spence. Accuracy has been the problem for Spencer through much of the year, and today he's been on target. Play fake. Going too deep. Far, too far. Regani, the intended receiver, and he was matched up in man coverage by Terrell Smith, number four. That ball was knocked away at the line of scrimmage. Oh, those goes over his head. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. That's Ibrahim getting ahead. You can see Fennessey appeared to be okay as they were carting him off for precautionary measures. He'll go through concussion protocol, it would appear. Ibrahim is, uh, you talk about an am amazing touchdown run for Ibrahim on that last possession. He broke the Gopher single season rushing touchdown record. How about that? He was tied with Gary Russell. His 52nd career rushing touchdown is already more than second place Daryl Thompson, who by the way, mm -hmm. is the single season rushing record owner here at Minnesota is a little under 400 yards away from breaking that record and we all remember how good Thompson was that's Ibrahim ahead right into the defensive end Joe Evans's arms Ibrahim as transparent as any coach in America yeah and and, and here's how you know he re he's real Tim after this play I would uh, kind of unpack one of the things he did that let me know immediately Ibrahim cutting it back up there he goes. Look at Mo go. Sixth year player out of Baltimore, Maryland. Here he goes again. You know, usually after a 35 yarder, you might take a play off, but <laughs> not this kid. Jay Higgins 
Makes the stop. It's a gain of six. No, he's a power sifter. You know, he's got the power, and but once he sees that opening, he sifts through there. And because he runs with such low pad control, Tim, he's actually packing more power than most guys that are a lot smaller who have to make those reads before they hit the hole. A lot of times, smaller backs see it, but they don't have the power to burst through when they get there. Not 24. Potts does come in now. After those two carries, not a bad changeup. Not a bad changeup yeah. here. He is a complimentary back, no doubt, to Muhammad Ibrahim. Big Ten Football in 60 is presented by Rocket Mortgage. When you want an edge in the competitive market, Rocket can. Third and two. Ibrahim has the first down. Nice job. I'm telling you, man, that's, that's just good, absolute good running there. I mean, you look, Yaha Black, number 94, Tim. Watch him go just a little bit beyond where he wants to go. Number 94, and then he sees it, whoop, and he goes the opposite direction. I mean, you, big guys can't turn that, way, that quick, right? And, and 24, he says, hey, man, I, I just, if I can get you flowing, I'm going to make sure I can skim off that edge and sift through. Yeah, why I was saying, why, why, yeah. I mean, that got right past him. It looked like he had him <laughs> dead to rights. First and ten. Nice. Look this? at this athletic ability. Wow. That's what Shiraka was talking about. He's a fantastic athlete with tremendous upside. I thought John Wagner, number 92, the defensive end, had him and others as well. Watch him sift through this. He's going to fill it. Graves is working upfield, and this is the problem here. They had a game going on, Tim. When you get those jerseys stacked up one another like that, that's a problem because they're in the same proximity. Ibrahim bounces off a couple of Hawkeyes, moves forward to the 17-yard line. Campbell made the first contact, 31 for Iowa. Anytime I see jerseys, whether they're white jerseys or dark jerseys, in the same area on defense, that tells you on that defensive line somebody's out of a line. So here you can see he's he, Campbell's looking and he's eyeing him in, man. He's got him in his gun sight, Tim. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Boom. Third down, a yard to go. Kaliak Manis lets it fly. Wow. Dangerous pass. It was thrown behind. The receiver, Raleigh Moss, had a shot at the pilfer. It was intended for Lamecki Brockington. 30 yards, 34 yards for Trickett. This to tie the game. Oh, 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 oh. doctor. It's no good. Points per possession. Yeah. Going for the field goal and not getting it. From inside 35 yards. That's a long drive that gets nothing. 11 plays, 73 yards, five and a half off the clock. Petrus is going to put it up. And he's up to the 24-yard line, and they're trying to get a little something done here. Yeah, they're showing a four-cross look, which means they're not going to let him behind him, Tim. Look at the level of the, receive, the, the defenders. They're all pretty much at too high right now. But look how close the second receivers are, the defenders are. They're all at the same level. Gavin Williams got four, second and six. They get the tight end. Lachey again. Laporta has not come back into mm -hmm. the game after getting 95 of the first 113 yards. Now, but for a couple of injuries, to your point, this Minnesota team was a top 10 team, no in my opinion. They were. Begin the season. At 4-0, and, yep. and then injuries plagued them as well. They have 157 passing yards mm -hmm. in this game already. And look at that for Reganey. They were trying to get him loose. Down the sidelines. They have five yards rushing. Five yards rushing, Iowa Spencer. Evan Williams ahead. Did you tell him we've got a Greek quarterback tonight, too? Yeah, in honor. That's it. I think That's it's right. in honor of uh, Kaliak Manis. We'll see them after the commercial. Here's the kick. And Caleb Johnson lets it go through for a touchback. A little bootleg action to open for Petrus, but good coverage, so he'll usher himself out of bounds. Gain about a yard, and that's it. Second down and nine. Classic Big Ten football right here. 10-7 to fair. 
These quarters are going by quick. The first half was quick as a hiccup, and this one figures to be the same. Now, I suspect if it stays this tight, it's going to slow down even more in the latter part of the third and the fourth quarters, Tim. Well, we know this. Minnesota probably won't use their timeouts as quickly in the second half as they did the first. Petrus, it's complete. That's Addison Ostringa, freshman from Sun Prairie, Wisconsin, the third team tight end. Mm -hmm. Third down and three. That's Regani in motion. Oh, Comes switch. that direction and look out. Nice. It's caught. And that's Brody Brecht, the red shirt freshman with the tech. Brian Farrings is doing today has, has really worked out. He's thrown that pass rolling to his left a couple of times successfully. Caleb Johnson forges ahead for three, maybe four. Lindenberg, number 45, with the tackle. Second and seven. Let's see how they manage this situation. Again, Regani in motion. Caleb Johnson, you love his vision here. Gets ahead into Minnesota territory to the 49. Tyler Newbin makes the stop. Line to make is the Minnesota 44. Third down and five officially. Just underway, second half. Getting so they're, Arlen they're, Bruce situated. Yeah, they're going to build this tight little teacup to the short side of the field. Nice. That pass. Got it. Ooh, nice incomplete. Defense. Great defensive work. Lachey, the intended receiver, and Newbin came up with the disruptive play to stop this series. Redding standing at about his seven yard line. Tory oh, Taylor Wynn caught that one. Yeah, he did not get all of it, but it does take an Iowa roll inside the 15. For the single season, 86 yards and a touchdown for him so far this afternoon. He'll keep it on the zone read. Campbell makes the tackle. Second down and eight. Nice slant caught. It's Jackson. Daniel Jackson is ahead to the 31 and a first down. First and 10, you see the numbers, six out of seven for 73. We told you he'd probably only throw it 15 times today, but he's been on target halfway through to that number as Ibrahim takes it again, runs into John Wagner, the yeah. John, left defensive end. Yeah, John chopped it down pretty good there from his defensive end position again. By these two teams' standards, this has been a plethora of offense mm -hmm. so far in our game today. Wow. Ibrahim runs right Gamble. past where the corner was coming. This is your out pitch. Look at Mo go. Mo takes it inside the 15. DeGene saves the touchdown. Big time play. That's a nightmare, man. 54 yards. He's got 146 on the day now. Long read there. There it is nice. in the end zone. The pass overthrown. A good read by the quarterback. Bryce Williams in the game now. Number 21 in the backfield. Ooh, I love the matchup here to the field, Tim. Kaliak Manis lets it fly again. Uh, again, over. overthrown. A lot of pressure coming. And it... Uh, I think gave the, the freshman some happy feet that time. Yeah, I think the pressure got to him. But anytime in a typical situation with a mature quarterback, when you get a teacup or a trips, bunch formation, and then only three defenders and no safety over the top, or in other words, a fourth man, you can have all kind of rubs created there and get open. So I'd like the decision to call the play, but maybe just indecision on the part of the well, quarterback. You're, you're okay with no flag there. Nope. I am, absolutely. I'm fine with it. All right. Trickett now looks to atone from 27. And he does. Big Ten Football in 60 is presented by Rocket Mortgage. When you want an edge in the competitive market, Rocket can. LaShawn well, Williams is in the backfield. And he carries it and runs right into a stone wall. No gain. Second and ten. Trips to the top of your screen. 
empty. Bailing out. That is Reganey. Nice. And we touched on what Nico could mean. That's his first reception of the day. Don't think it will be his last. Petra's 13 of 18 for 188. Nice. LaShawn Williams sets sail. He's got a first down and more. Into Gophers territory at the 47. Jordan Howden with the tackle. 17, that's the longest run of the day for Iowa. Until now, there goes Caleb Johnson. Down the sidelines, he ran out of real estate. Could not keep his balance along the sideline. Otherwise, he's, all, he's long gone. Long gone. Excellent play designed by Brian Ferentz. First and 10 from the 27. Blitz coming. Backside pressure. And Petrus didn't hear it Ooh. or see it. And Terrell Smith got him. Credit defensive coordinator Joe Rossi. He knew when to bring the pressure. And now it's second and 20. Petrus flushed. And now throws it away in the general direction of Gregani. Yep, Gavin Williams is the lone setback. And he runs right into some gophers on the right-hand side. And after two consecutive running plays that netted 38 yards, Iowa goes backwards and it's fourth down. They're out of field goal position here. They're going to have to punt it away. Torrey Taylor and Quentin Redding is back at the seven-yard line. End over end. Ooh. Nice. And it stops at the one. Special teams. That's yes, what indeed. Iowa does, baby. Critical time for Minnesota offensively, though. Just outside their own patio at the three. Ibrahim is the setback out yep. of the shotgun. Young quarterback. Let's see what kind of play selection we got here, man. Just get it out. Just get it out as far as you can. Looks like the left tackle. Ariante Ursiri, the redshirt sophomore from Kansas City down on the field. Second down and eight. Ibrahim to the 10. Pick up a five. Third down and three. Gophers are four out of eight on third down conversions. Nice. Ibrahim, look, at, look at him go to that second level. Boy, he's just got such a burst. 176 yards on the ground for him. Bryce Williams checks in as he'll get a quick low. And he'll carry it ahead and get maybe four before being pushed back. Yeah, I know you love him. You believe they could use him in a variety mm -hmm. of ways. Mm -hmm. Trey Potts is now checked in, the third back. Actually, the number two on the depth chart. A little change of direction. Gets him past the 35. And uh, Noah Shannon, the left defensive tackle. Senior from Aurora, Illinois, with a stop. Five straight runs to start this drive for the Gophers. And there he goes. Great Nothing doing this that time. And that's what you can't do against Iowa. These linebackers and safeties move sideline to sideline so well. Crawford will punt it away. 31 rushes, 10 passes for Minnesota offensively to this afternoon. Here comes DeGene. Got a lot of green on the right-hand side. Now they're trying to strip it away from him, <laughs> and his forward progress will be stopped at about the 37. That's a great return. 45 yards on the punt, 18 on the return. First down, Williams. Tough sledding in the middle of that Minnesota defense as Howden and Trill Carter collaborate, a gain of three. Coming down to the end of the third quarter. Mark, as you see, LaShawn Williams stopped after a one yard gain. Third and six for Petrus. Just a three-man rush. Plenty of time, Tim. Oh, it's right oh, there. The oh, Regani. And he's a sure-handed receiver. Absolutely. That and, and went right through his hands. And one of Petrus' best 
throws I think I've ever seen. And that just sucks the life right out of you if you're Brian Ferentz, man, it took a lot oh. to call that shot, and he knows it. They're going to be far and few between. Oh. But he got the whole shot that he wanted, the time that he wanted, and the part of the field that he wanted to the receiver. That's the sure-handed option mm. that he has on the field well, that, and just missed it. It looked like it ran up on him mm -hmm. a little bit. It did. It was hot. Yeah. It had a little tail on it. I'm not so sure he was fading on the back end was Regani trying to get a beat on the path of the ball. We may not have heard the last of him, though. This punt is a low-trajectory one. Taken off the bounce by Redding. Wow. And down he goes immediately. DeGene down there again. What a remarkable afternoon and evening he's had. Since the first quarter, look what he's done. It's just amazing. Fully recovered from that Achilles that set him out last year, man. I'm telling you, this yep. guy is a workhorse. That's all on the ground, too. Mm -hmm. Roughly 75% of their offense. First and 10. To no one's surprise, here he goes again. Wow. Almost to the 20. He's out to the 19, tackled by Schulte, number 30. Uh, way too often, Schulte's as a safety been involved in tackling. He's going to end up leading in tackles if this night ends in this way. Man, look at him. Wonderful job up front of guys of disengaging when they have to so as to not attract those penalties. This has been a very clean game, as we pointed out statistically a moment ago, and it's because this offensive line is unbelievable. I was so impressed with them in practice the other day. Again, oh. and he doesn't need a lot of room. No, he doesn't. You know, you just give him a, a crevice or crack, right? And he's going to get you eight or nine. Over 200 total yards, 198 of them on the ground and add to the tote board. That'll give him four more and another first down as Jay Higgins makes the tackle. From the 31, first down. Nice. That ball is bat batted it. down. Yep. He had his man, too. Yep. Second and 10. A little toss. And Mo goes again past the 35 oh, to the 37-yard line. You know, that's a little nuanced play right there. You put the back to that side and pitch it to him so as to not hand it off. And what it does, it gives your offensive lineman a little bit more advantage on his reach block that he has to make. And it also allows the back to get wider faster. And so the coaches are looking at these nuances as the plays go on. And the ones that are successful, you got no takers down there identifying exactly why didn't that play work. And in real time, they're making adjustments. Season high for him has been broken. He's up to 207 and counting. Nice. Look at like, that. Beautifully done. And there nice is the down. athleticism mm -hmm. of Kaliak Manis. He can run it. He can run it well. This is a guy who is just beginning to scratch the surface of greatness for this Minnesota program. Well, when Kirk was talking to us the other day, he says he's got a lot of confidence. Watch the end rusher here. When you read that end crashes, that ball has got to be pulled out. And Kaliak Manis did a wonderful job of making that defensive end read him. He kept it in there, meshed it. That's the point between the belly and the quarterback, and he pulled it out and fooled the defensive end. Outstanding execution. First and 10 from the 43 of Iowa. Ibrahim buries ahead for the two-yard pickup, and again, another look at that previous play. Ride and mesh. This is what we used to do. It Ride, 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 ride. 92 gives to the back. You pull it out and take off. I mean, it's a great matchup because usually the guy, once again, the safety, Schulte, is the last line of defense. And if you can get a quarterback or a running back to that level, it's going to be a first down every single time. If you've ever seen uh, Urban's segment on Big Noon, I think his explanation of how to run that mm -hmm. is as good as you'll ever see in a coaching clinic. Second and eight. Ibrahim. His cutback ability is outstanding, too. He'll be... Three yards shy of the first. John Wagner making the tackle. Third down and three. A long three. We got a face mask issue with Ibrahim, and he had to get uh, some defective gear. Yeah, yeah it's pulled yeah. off. Look at it. It's, it's literally pulled, pulled off. off from, yeah. <laughs> the brace is pulled off. First of the half. Great catch. And a smart move, too, because mm -hmm. you talk about getting hurt. Now, Rosedale Farms is where the pig came from. And I think they finally decided that um, 
it uh, wasn't perhaps as sanitary as it needed to be over time, so they made a Floyd of Rosedale trophy. <laughs> And, and Minnesota uh, won that game 48-12, yeah, didn't that's they? That's right. Yeah. Muhammad Ibrahim hits it ahead for one. This is what happened to the helmet, and uh, I credit our spotter, Brett Bender, for pointing that one out to me quickly. Well, the managers yeah. earning their keep. So here we go with a huge fourth down analytics call. What will it be, Spencer T? What would be the equivalent of NASCAR? Anyway, oh, back to the call here. That's a NASCAR change of the face mask there. Um... To the right side, Timmy. We're going to run this power. There it is. Yep. And he's got the first down. Good call. Glad I got you out of the pit stop. <laughs> <laughs> first down just outside the 32. This is the kind of long drive that eats up opportunities for Iowa offensively, too. He's ahead to the 30. If they happen to pull this off, we'll need some help from Indiana next week in the old Oaken Bucket game against nice Purdue. Nice patience. A lot of patience. Wow. And then he gets ahead to the 23. He's going to be about a yard shy of the first down. Deontay Craig, 45, with the tackle. Third down, two. He is some lathered up. Yep. They just feed and fan him. The running game was going to dictate who was going to win this. Still got a lot of wood to chop, though. Even after he stacked up by a couple of guys, he knows how to fall forward. Also, keep you healthy. On second and six, nothing doing this time. Maybe a yard, and that's all. Jack Campbell, the middle linebacker, does the honors this time for Iowa. Captain Jack, man, he's ready. 13 carries. On this drive, it's amazing. He's been a stalwart. Has Abraham, it's just been wonderful to watch this kid run. And Kirk Ferris appreciates a good running game when he sees it. He's had 13 carries on this drive alone. Mm -hmm. 13 carries. Third and five here. Play action pass, maybe? What do you think? No, trips coming down to the left. Oh, no, they're going to motion to it. So, uh oh, yeah. stretch play cuts it back. Really close. Oh, the ball's ball's out. on the ball's ground. Out. Ball is on the ground. Iowa says they've got it. And they do. Deontay Craig, number 45. There it is, Spence. The first turnover of the game. Petrus, middle screen underneath to Lachey, the tight end, and he's dumped after only a yard pickup. And that oh, oh, almost picked off Whoa. off of Williams and Terrell Smith had a chance at it. Boy, he had a chance. Third and ten. A three out of nine this afternoon on third down play. Just a three man rush. He's got to beat coverage here. That's tough. Incomplete intended for Brecht. Brody Brecht. And a punt formation coming mm -hmm. up. The good news for Ibrahim, Iowa does not get anything done on this series. And Minnesota likely to get quality field position with just four and change remaining. And these coaches are so good in this league. Once you show them what your intentions are, believe me, they're going to defend it the next time. Taylor to boot it away. Redding back deep. That's a low liner. Yep. Mm. Gets a Minnesota bounce, stops at the 45. So a 46-yard punt. This could likely be, Spencer, the final possession of the game. Yep, I definitely believe it is. Tim, Iowa's defense has held seven opponents to ten points or less this season, including three with three or fewer points, and it's setting up right now where it looks like that strike could be broken. Indeed. Ibrahim looking for an atonement. There it is. Looking for an atonement, and he's well on his way. And, Tim, I wouldn't be surprised if you're going to see two conservative, very – Inside oriented runs right yeah, here to milk yeah. as much time off the clock. If you can get seven yards out of one of three plays, you're going to get close to a first down again. You're going to be in field goal range at that point. Remember, he had 13 carries on the last drive, and it was the 14th that he turned over. 19 carries today for 262. 300 yards rushing now for Minnesota as a team. 51 for Iowa. Inside zone. Yep, yep. there you Predictable. go. Predictable. 
And by the way, when you get ready to do an Iowa football game, mm -hmm. and, you know, we've had it happen a few times, but this is the first Hawkeyes game I've had this year. The question becomes, what are you thinking? I'm like, well, it depends on how many scores the Iowa defense gets. That's right. Because they do get them. That's right. But it hasn't do. happened uh, so far today, and he's taken himself out here. He's gingerly getting to the sideline. Crazy things can happen mm -hmm. if you have to put the ball in the air. Well, this defense for Iowa has four defensive touchdowns on the year, so to your point, they're capable of scoring. Kaliak Manis thrown it 11 times today. Trey Potts on the stretch play, turns it back up. Gets it down to the 33-yard line. They're not going to give him anything as far as mistakes are concerned from this gopher offense. Well, they've made their one, and Iowa's offense couldn't get a first down. Kaliak Manis. Oh, that they ball is tipped it. into you the air. It. And here wow. go the Hawkeyes. Jack Campbell with the return. Look at him go. He's still on He's his going feet. To score. He's going to take it to the wow. house. Hello. How <laughs> do you do? Got a marker down. Or they're going to say maybe he stepped out. I beg your pardon. They're going to say maybe he stepped out of bounds. We'll see. The uh, field judge is looking at about the 45-yard line. Take a look right here. That's the center, Schmitz, that had gotten a hand on him. And did he step out? Ooh, no, I don't, oh, I don't know. Think he, I don't think he stepped I out. I don't know. I don't, I don't, oh, I don't I, think he stepped out. I don't out, think Tim. so either. I don't think he stepped I out. I think if they review it, Spencer, and they may, I'd be surprised if they didn't, they're going to find that... Um, Jack it's going to be a pick six. Yep. Jack Campbell knows how to run with the football here. Watch him walk this tightrope here on the sideline after the breakup here. Wow. Wow. Bounces right in his hands. We just said that they've yes. got four uh -huh. <laughs> scores. Yep. That'll be a fifth. This is but, Iowa football. But watch this right foot here. There's some green between no, that white just, over there. Yeah, they were only looking at this. Ooh. Blown up he may have. Mike Pereira tells us if they didn't call him out of bounds, they can't review it. We thought that he had gotten into the end zone, but no touchdown signal was given. Petrus over the middle. The tight end's got it. Lachey. Wow. Down to the 10. 159 remaining. Well, Two timeouts left for Minnesota. All three for Iowa. Well, you think he was keeping Y seam in his back pocket? Here it is, folks. You want to beat cover two? Nice release up the field. And you get beat on the back end of this with the Y seam. Every single time, Jordan Howden, the free safety, comes up number 23, blows his assignment, and gets beat over the top. I'm telling you, what a wonderful gutsy call there. Hadn't called Y seam all night long because Sam Laporta, your start tight end, out of the game, not able to help you, and you go into the third level help a tight end. Amazing. Williams the setback. There goes LaShawn, and he's wrestled to the ground at the point of attack by Logan Redding. Williams remains the lone setback, and he'll carry it. Mm. Close to a first down. They have to call a timeout. They can get a first down without the touchdown, and if they get the first down, then there's nothing Minnesota can do to stop it. First, the interception. And it just as the tip drill goes right to Campbell. Third down and one for the first down. They need three for a touchdown. And at this stage, I don't know that, you let, know, I, I'd let him score. I'd let him score. Yeah. He may take a knee here. Well, they stopped him. It will be a fourth down coming up there. They're trying to say that the ball came out late and... Uh, Sorry, Marin is not going to stop running. He's going to make Petrus tackle him. I think they finally blew it dead, and he's going to come back now. Stops the clock. Well, no, it doesn't. Clock goes back to ticking, and it is fourth down. Remember, Iowa just needs to win and win, and they're in. Yep. And you're if looking Iowa at a, wins this game, they're in. And then wins next week, they're in. They actually have more control of their destiny than anybody. Can you make it rain, young man? Wow. Did they ice their own yeah. self? Looks like they may have. Oh, they're upset. 
I think they were short a man and, and the officials didn't even see it. Mm -hmm. the coaches are Iowa. living on the sideline of Iowa. First the half. 30 second timeout. Well, well the last thing you wanted was a, a penalty for not enough on the field. 20, 21 yards out of the hold of Tory Taylor. Uh oh, it just got through. Wow. I mean, it just got through. Let this go through, right? Yeah. Yep. yep. Save as much time as you can. And we'll see what uh, the Golden Gophers offer up here. Bryce Williams is the setback. They're going to put more time on the clock. They got to push it back. There you go. Galiak Manis is flushed. Let's it fly and uh. it's dropped. Bryce Williams turned that head upfield and forgot to catch the ball. Well, Bryce has got to be mindful of it again. Those pressure moments reveal where you are right now with respect to how you handle these tough situations. Got to get that head around, snap it, and get out of bounds. Second down and 10. Staying on the left hash, and let's see if they can. Sprint right. Looking for something down the field, and now he'll take off. Gets out of bounds Ooh. at the 33 34. Well, we apparently, have, we've lost our clock on the screen, so the time that we have remaining is 15 seconds. Make it 16 seconds. So we apologize for that technical gaffe as we have lost our clock in the truck. There you go, 16 seconds now left in this game. Got to have something down the field and near the sideline. Four wide, Tim. They're going to take a shot on this left side. Oh, you're going to move to the right. Okay, good. Pressure forced him out. Using up a lot of time, though, and it's out of bounds. Spanford was the intended receiver. Clock down to 10. That play took eight seconds, so it's down to eight. And it's also fourth down. If they, get rid of, to go. if they get rid of it quick, they could possibly have two left with an incompletion. Average play is going to be between six and seven seconds. Well, if you don't complete it or no, you don't get a yard, it's over. Yeah, you're toast. Trickett's longest field goal is 49, but there's a big time wind, and you got to get a first down to stay alive. Looping it towards the corner. Not too much. Yep. Incomplete. Well, he put everything he had into that throw, too. That's it. Three ticks left. And uh, that was fourth down, mm -hmm. and Iowa can take a knee and go back to Iowa City with another improbable win, keyed by their defense with another huge takeaway late in the game. Another November to remember, yeah, Tim. indeed. That's 14 consecutive games in the month dating back to 2019. Know who you Kurt are. Ferentz. Know what your program is founded on. Yep. Kirk Farrens knows that, and the uh, unfortunate truth for Minnesota is they just cannot seemingly solve the Iowa Hawkeyes. Two big turnovers, the difference in this game, happening late. The Floyd of Rosedale Trophy will reside for another year in Iowa City. They remain alive the possibility of claiming a spot in the Big Ten championship game. Really happy uh, for our guys, you know, uh, really happy locker room. And, and that's, you know, November football. It's whatever it takes to get something done and uh, took the full 60 today for sure. But uh, just really pleased for our guys, you know, pleased to get Floyd back in Iowa City with us. And I uh, just told the players, encourage them to enjoy tonight. They certainly earned it. Hard fought victory. Uh, against a team that played extremely hard. So want them to enjoy that, and then we're back to work tomorrow. we got a short week here, so we got to get back um, back on task there. But uh, just a lot to be pleased about, first of all, you know, offensively, 
Uh, you know, Bill Russell's uh, quote about, you know, the most important stat. In fact, it's the only one that counts is the final score. Don't disagree with that, but right number two is, uh, you know, keeping playing clean football and uh, just proud of the way the guys, the guys, you know, really protected the football today.